Hello and welcome back to another episode of Focus Auto Solutions. Now today, I'm going to be talking to you about a new service called AWS Chatbot. And this is a service that lets you receive notifications and even take action upon some of the events you receive through an integrated service such as Chime or Slack. Now in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to set up billing alarms. So that way, instead of getting an email that could be lost with all the other emails that we get these days, you could actually receive a notification in Slack so that way you or your team can take appropriate action on them. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's get started. All right, now I do wanna go ahead and give us a brief little overview of what we're trying to accomplish here. So essentially, while we're in AWS, I want to set up a billing alert and in a way so that anytime we go over a forecasted amount, it sends off an event to SNS. SNS is hooked up to this chatbot service. And then from there, it'll reach outside of AWS through this integration. So that way Slack receives the event and then we can go ahead and take the action when we see it. Pretty straightforward. Let's see what it looks like when we actually do it. So over in the billing section, and again, you can get to here just by searching billing and clicking on the services link right there. Uh, we wanna go ahead and configure a new budget. Now I have one set up already for no big bills, but let's go ahead and say, you know what, $10 is fine, but if I were to buy a domain, a domain is like 12 bucks. So let's go ahead and just say um, Slack notifier, and it would be monthly. That's fine, a fixed amount of let's say 20 bucks. So we have that set up. And from here, let's go ahead and configure some thresholds. Now I want it to be 100%, whoa, 100% of the forecasted costs. So if AWS sees me approaching that, don't wait until the end of the month, but if you see me approaching 100% of that, then go ahead and uh, send me an event. So instead of submitting an email address here, we can go ahead and configure SNS. Now we haven't done this yet. And in fact, the chatbot alert is really what we want. But if you click on this, it just says configure SNS. So from here, let's go ahead and get started by doing just that. It'll open up a new tab, which is good because we're gonna be flipping back and forth in just a second. Now this is just gonna be a standard SNS topic. And we can call this something like, let's say Slack uh, billing notifier. Now, as far as our display name, this is what it's going to show up whenever we uh, fire off the event. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone for now. And then we have this access policy here. Now, this is the important part because by default, it doesn't give us anything that allows billing. So let's go ahead and head back over to the billing console. And you see that we can input our SNS uh, topic right here, but it also gives us a statement that we need to allow billing to um, be associated with this, this event. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. All right, so with that copied, we're gonna go ahead and keep moving along because we need the ARN and that isn't created yet. So as we keep on scrolling, I like to go ahead and put a created by tag in here. So we'll say created by, and then I'll just throw my name. Awesome. So we have our topic created. There's the ARN that we need. So let's go ahead and edit this so that way we can add in an inline policy. So when it comes to the access policy, we can, whoops, paste that in just like so. And then where it says insert ARN here, well, we have that associated now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and paste it right up here. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, save those changes. And once this gets all saved, then we can start configuring our chatbot service. All right, so I have this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take note of two things. One, I'm working in Ohio. So there's my region right up top. I'm gonna to need to remember that. I'm gonna copy over this ARN and we can head over to the chatbot service. So AWS chatbot. Now here's the cool part. When I go ahead and select a client, I can select either Chime or Slack. It's directly integrated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and configure this. And it prompts me already to say, you know, hey, is this a Slack channel that you want? 
Otherwise, you can click this drop down and select a couple others that you might be um, already enrolled in. I'm going to allow that. And now, over on the left hand side, you can see that Focus Auto Solutions is the name of my Slack channel. So I can go ahead and configure this. It's like, hey, what's the name? And we're going to just call this Billy Notifier. Great. What channel do you want to send, either private or public? If it's private, just keep note that you have to have access to that channel, obviously. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and be in general. Uh, do you want us to go ahead and use like the default role that we can create for you? Sure thing. What do you want to call it? AWS chatbot role is fine with me. Awesome. And then again, let's go into attach some notification permissions. Now, here's why I had to keep note of that region because we set it up in Ohio for myself. So here's Ohio. Choose the topics in that region. It's just the one. And then go ahead and click on configure. Also, we got that set up. Now, one thing we are going to need is the ARN from the SNS topic that we just created. So I'm going to head back there and select the one that I forgot to grab earlier. So here is the topic, Slack Bailey Notifier. And let's just go ahead and copy that. Now I'm going to head back over to billing and here's where we tie everything together. So we paste this in and then it'll go ahead and verify to make sure that we have it uh, configured correctly. And then lastly, we can go ahead and confirm the budget. Quick little verifier. Is everything set up? Yes, it is. So create. Now this is great, but let's go ahead and verify that we got everything set up correctly. So once we go ahead and confirm everything, what I want to do is head back over to our chatbot service and just send a test event. So let's go ahead and select Slack, the notification for the channel we have set up, and then send test message. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and see that a message was just dispatched successfully. But let's go ahead and verify that in Slack. You can see just as I was talking about it, it went ahead and pushed the message out. And once you're here, it says, hey, we went ahead and sent out an event from your account. Feel free to go ahead and take whatever action you'd want to take on it. All right. So that was just a quick look at AWS Chatbot and how we can integrate that with our billing services and Slack. Now, there's a bunch more things that you can do with this, such as even call Lambda functions directly through the chat service and communicate both ways. So that way it sends you notifications and then you can also chat back to the service. If you want to see more videos on that, definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I would love to go ahead and take in your feedback to create more content. As always, my name is Michael Leando. Thanks for checking out my content and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.